do not try this at home, I'm gonna grab 3% hydrogen peroxide, put it in a container just like that. And then I have pork blood and beef blood. And I'm gonna drop a few drops in there and let's see what happens. I got blood in this tube, let's do it. Pretty crazy. What if we drop a lot more? Pretty amazing, huh? Let's try this again. First I'm gonna put hydrogen peroxide, 3% into a container. Now I'm gonna grab some blood and pour it in the hydrogen peroxide and let's see what happens. Pretty incredible. So, tell me in comments below, why does it happen scientifically? For this one I got something even more epic. I got 35% hydrogen peroxide and let's see what happens if we mix it with pork blood. So I'm gonna first put hydrogen peroxide in the bottom. And now I'm gonna grab pork blood and drop it in there. Pretty insane, huh? Same, same thing. Just form up like crazy. Looks like not whole much difference. Pretty much 3% and 35% blow up pretty First we're gonna get hydrogen peroxide, 35% and fill it up with the glass just like this. Boom. And then we're gonna set this aside. Also we're gonna pour some soap into the hydrogen peroxide and then we're gonna have to mix it all up. Then we're gonna fill up another cup with water and we're gonna be using potassium iodide. Pour a little bit of that crystals. Just like that. Then we're gonna grab one of these and pour this peroxide with soap Boom, just like that. Potassium iodide with water need to be mixed up really, really well as well. Now we're going to get potassium iodide solution and mix it together. And let's see what happens. That's a lot of foam, what do you guys think? We gotta try this again in a little smaller beaker. Got potassium iodide solution and hydrogen peroxide solution. Put it together, look it turns black, Boof. whoa, this is insane, look at this giant volcano foam, whoa, this is, holy crap, no way, no way, what did I just do, this, uh, that was way cooler than this one, what do you guys think, I just needed a little bit more potassium iodide, this is insane, boom, look how much foam, Thumbs up for this experiment for sure. So this is what I'm gonna use. This is actually a Russian medicine, but if you mix together and dry it out, it's actually explosive. Let's check this out. I need two empty containers like that and a coffee filter. I got here two empty glasses right here. For this one, I'm gonna put iodine. The whole thing, I'm gonna put it in there. And here is amiak. I mean I can hear the whole thing. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna pour this one together and mix them up. You see how it turned kinda black? Now we're gonna let it sit it for like an hour. Mm, that thing stinks. Then I'm gonna need a coffee filter, put it like this, and just pour it in there. Just gotta wait till it's all goes through. Okay, good. Now I have to just wait till it just fil filter itself out in there. You see it's like slowly going through. Now we're just gonna dry off that paper. Just gonna lay it down here and let's see what happens. When it's finally dry, we're gonna grab a hammer and see what happens. Woo! Crazy, huh? And this is very, very light touch. Let's see. Woo! Pretty crazy, huh? Exploding paper. First thing we're going to do is put a little bit of barax in, in there. Very little bit. Just this much. And then we're gonna pour uh, ethanol. Now we're gonna need to mix it all up. 
Kids do not try this at home. Then we're gonna bring this pinion trade bag and this garbage bin. And we need to find a center. This is close enough. Then we're gonna put a plate in the middle. Now I'm gonna grab some of that mixture and put it in there. Not too much because I don't wanna spill it. So very little bit. Now I'm gonna shut down all the lights. And now we're gonna spin it and we're gonna get fire, green fire tornado. Look how beautiful it is. Pretty amazing, what do you guys think? Let's do some close up, some of that. Focus it and let's see if I spin it. How amazing is that? If you want to see it in slow motion, subscribe to Slow Mo Lab. Maybe I'll do it next video. Pretty amazing, right? And you see borax wearing out, and now it's becoming blue fire. So right here, we're going to need instant light powder. Look at this, pretty awesome. So I got it online, we're gonna need one of those little tubes and we're gonna make a really cool experiment. Let's check this out. First, we're gonna fill it up water in a beaker. It's a distilled water or natural spring water. We're gonna fill up about 40 milliliters of our distilled water, just like this. Then we're gonna grab our instant light powder and pour it in there, but first let's turn off the light so we can see the reaction. So we're gonna pour this stuff in there, about few grams, like three to four grams, and look, it's already starting to light up. And if I mix it, look at this. We're gonna mix it, look how crazy it is. Look how lights up it is, wow. That's insane. I bet they use that in movies. Look how beautiful it is. Isn't it insane how beautiful it is? It looks like it's not even real. It looks like a glow stick, but it's not. Look at this beautifulness. Amazing, huh? We should pull it from a beaker to another beaker. I bet that's gonna look cool too. So I'm gonna grab this part, this glow in the dark liquid and put it in here. Whoa, look how awesome it is. Now let's see what it looks like, not in a dark room, but very light up room. Let's check this out. Wow, you see as soon as I turn the lights on, instead of blue color, it looks like yellow color. Pretty amazing, huh? Look, it's light up again. How beautiful is that? So we got here four chemicals, sodium iodine, citric acid, sodium sulfide, and storage solution. And we have here two mixing containers, and what I'm gonna do is grab sodium iodide, and grab a one small spoon, like mini spoon, like that, and drop it in there. Then I'm gonna grab sodium sulfide, half a spoon, of half of small spoon, and put it in there. Then we're gonna grab citric acid and grab two small full spoons of citric acid. One and two. Then we're gonna need uh, warm water to mix it all up. Each about 20 milliliters. But if we wanna do like twice bigger, or if we wanna do 40 milliliters, so we have to put same amount in each. Like, what was it? It's sodium iodide, one spoon, half a spoon sodium sulfide, and two more spoons of citric acid. Here and here. And 40 milliliters of water here. Just like that. And where we put the sodium and uh, citric acid, we're gonna put. Uh, what, six to eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna need to mix both of them up. 
Okay, after it looks like it's mixed, we're gonna pour one solution in here. Then the second one. And once I'm gonna pour it in there, I'm gonna start pouring it in here and let's see what happens. I'm gonna mix it a couple times. Ooh, did you see that? I'm gonna mix it a couple times. Ooh, did you see that? Whoa. Ooh, how cool was that? Amazing, huh? Ooh, how cool was that? Amazing, huh? We're actually just gonna take a small piece and throw it in water, see what happens. Actually boils. Now we're gonna try something different. Try to burn it, small piece. Whoa. First we're gonna put powder sugar. Then we're going to pour sulfuric acid in there. You see the reaction already starting, so what you're gonna what we're gonna do is mix it up. I think it got so hot that the glass even popped, but how crazy is that? So we're going to dry this again but on a bigger level. So we're gonna put the sulfuric acid in there and then we have to mix up the sugar. Shit, that's a thick one right here. How crazy is that? Just keep coming and coming. Experiment with the sodium acetate and water. Well, what do we get sodium acetate? Easy heat hand warmer. So here's the used one. What I did it is open it and grab a piece out of it. I'm gonna put them in here, you know, just like that. So then I'm gonna cut it right here. And look, you see how careful I cut, cut it and now I'm gonna pour it on this crystal and let's see what happens. How cool is this? It just crystallized right away and this thing is super hot and warm. So I got here a couple of chemicals, ammonium dichloride and then I got here black snake. See the in the description what kind of chemicals this firework contain. So this little black type tablet just like this. I'm gonna open them up and lay them like this on a board. Then I'm gonna grab ammonium dichloride and just pour it right on top of them just like this. Something like that. Then I'm gonna grab a fuse and stick it right in the middle of it. Okay, let's light up the fuse and see this beautiful reaction. Pretty amazing, huh? Look at this. Looks like a volcano. But let's just watch. 
when the snake comes out. Check this out. Look how creepy it is. Looks like a demon coming out out of the earth. Look at this black worms coming out. Pretty insane. I gotta try this again. This is beautiful. Wow, look how much ash coming out. So what do you think? Thumbs up? Let's try this again and I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter so we can see better. Let's do this again but double the recipe. Now I'm gonna get ammonium dichloride and pour it right on top of it. Let's light up the top and let's see what happens. Grab a lighter. Beautiful volcano, we have perfect view right now. Look at this weird worms over there. So crazy, huh? Look at this weird worms over there. Crazy. Wow. So amazing. Looks like worms from hell.